Hey, if you're watching this, you just got your very first set of Natural Beauty Rose extensions. I hope you feel like a queen because I'm sure you look like one. Your life is about to transform with all this new confidence that you have. I'm super happy for you and excited. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to take care of them at home, including how to wash them, how to style them, and how to curl them. So, let's get started. I recommend that you wash your hair every three to four days. We don't want too much of that product buildup to get in there when you're restyling and using that heat that can cause too much damage. So I recommend every three to four days washing it and also using a mask once a week. After washing it, you can also let it air dry 50 to 70% if you choose. For me personally, I like to blow it out to get it really smooth and I don't really have a ton of time to let it air dry. So it's really personal preference and your lifestyle choice. But what I do is I separate my natural hair from my extension hair. I pin it up and I pull all of my extensions forward. And when you go to brush it, I pull it all forward and I hold it at the very top of my hair and I start brushing from the bottom and work my way up. I do it on both sides. I spray in the three products that I recommend using while it's wet. The first one is the leave-in conditioner from Formula 18. It's one of my favorites, as I'm sure you've heard me talk about while sitting in my chair. So I spray that first on both sides. The next product I use is the Formula 18 Repair Oil. It is very good for extension hair and also for anyone who has any sort of texture or frizz or anything like that. It helps smooth it out and smooth it through both sides of my extension hair. And then lastly, I recommend some sort of heat protectant or smoothant. So whichever I recommended for you and your hair type is the one that you will probably go home with or order online. Um, I recommend definitely using a quality blow dryer. Make sure that you have ordered something that is professional so that it's not causing any more damage to your extension hair or your natural hair. Um, when I'm blow drying it, I pull it forward and blow dry it to about 70 to 80 percent dry. I'm mostly just rough drying it, trying to get a lot of the moisture out. And then once it's about to that percent dry, then I grab my wet brush and hold it underneath the hair and the blow dryer on top and run it through to get a lot of the frizz out and a lot of the smoothing in so that the products are doing their job and that the extensions are smoothed really well. Once the extensions are dry, I pull down the rest of my natural hair and I spray in the products that I mentioned, the Formula 18 leave-in, the oil, and lastly, I also use a volumizer. This one particularly, I like to use the Orbe Royal Blowout Spray. It helps with holding the style and also giving lots of really good volume. Once that is in, then I separate my hair into three to four sections. Depending on your hair type and your density, you'll want to do um, more sections if you have more hair and less sections if you have less. So I start in the back with my round brush and work my way forward. I'm round brushing to get a lot of the products in there to get them smooth. And I'm also trying to take frizz out and make sure that the style holds for the next four, three to four days. I recommend blow drying it in horizontal sections because no matter where you part it, you'll have the most volume. I've learned over time that that creates the best style and the most volume, especially for you fine hair people that are wanting more of that volume. Your styling products and the way that you blow dry are gonna make a huge difference. So once your hair is all dry, then you can start curling. The curling iron that I prefer the most is the Bioionic Long Barrel iron. The size is one and a quarter inch. So for those of you who have two rows, I recommend when you're starting to curl, separate your rows, pin your top row up, and start with the bottom row. For those of you who only have a filler row, this doesn't really apply to you. It just makes it easier to curl the two rows separately. So what I'm doing here is I'm pinning up my top row and starting on the bottom. I start with the pieces around my face, and then as I work my way backwards, I change directions. This is what creates the best looking beach wave and also the most texture. So I take about one inch wide sections and one inch deep, and I start at the top of the hair and work my way down. I'm also dropping the iron as I'm curling and leaving the ends semi-straight. Keep working your way all the way around the head and then drop down your second row and curl all of that. Once that is complete, then you can work in your texture sprays. Here are a couple of my favorites. I start with the L'Oreal Infinium Hairspray, and then I move to Kevin Murphy, the Do Over Texture Spray. 
I work it through my ends, kind of fluff up my hair extensions and spray it in, make sure that it's getting all over. And then lastly, my favorite product is to add some extra beach wave look. I'll grab the Orbe matte waves, squirt a little bit into my palm, rub it all together, and run it through my hair all over on the top layers mostly, just to create that beachy textured look. And there you have it guys. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helped you take care of your hair extensions at home, help you with styling. But if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me or respond to this. At the time of your appointment, I should have sent you home with this folder. There is a sheet inside of it with a list of at home care as well. Just some tips and tricks, including the styling that I mentioned in this video, but also some tips on how to wear your hair when you're sleeping. So be sure to read over that. If you did not get it and I attached it in the link below, be sure to read it so that you make, make sure you're getting your money's worth with your hair extensions and taking the best care of them possible. Thanks for watching.